Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. In this video, we're going to take a second look at the waveform. We're going to connect it to the Arduino, and then send a little bit of control from the Nexium back down to the Arduino. We've set the radian count initially to zero, and so we're going to add one to it because the up count is equal to one. Then we need to convert that integer into a float. The sine function, or sin, however you want to call it, needs to have a value from zero to 6.2. So we'll divide it by 10 to make it a range of zero to 6.2. The range that comes out of this function right here is negative one to one, but it's not a straight range. It's more of an exponential change. We're going to multiply that times 100 to make the range negative 100 to 100. And then to make it positive, we're going to add 120. So the range will be 20 to 220. And then we're going to send that value up to the next. At this point, I'm going to run it so you can see what I'm talking about. But right now, we're just sending data up to the waveform and I'm going to display it. I'm going to run it in debug now. And start collecting the data. And you can see we get a nice waveform. Now if I come over here, you can see that the data is coming in add one, which the device ID is one, the channel is zero, and then the data that we're trying to plot. On this slider up here, when I release it, it's going to print the value that's over here. So it's going to send a one right now. But on the touch move, we update wherever this is. We're going to update the text with the value of the slider using the cove command or convert command. The slider itself, I have a min and max values of one and nine. So we're not making much change at all. But it just allows us to send the the value of 1 through 9 back to the Arduino. Now I'm going to go back to the Arduino and show you how we capture that. You should be able to download all this code from the Cheap Controls website if you're confused or you want to just load it in and follow along. But if Serial 2, which is the port coming from the Nexion, has data available, we're going to collect it, store it in data from display, we're going to turn it into an integer and store it in this upcount variable. And originally we set up count equal to one. If you look up here, every time through this loop, we're, we're adding another value to the radian count. So we're counting up to 63 quicker if we send, if we make this value larger. And counting up quicker will cause the waveform to change its shape. We reset the data from display, and that's all we really need to do. Okay, so here now we have our waveform going and we have it set at 1, just like it was before, and it looks the same. But as I increase this, now it's gone much faster. If I move it down here, the change is less extreme. If I go back to 1, we're back to where we started. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.